what we're going to accomplish today, again, is based in large part on personal reflections and photos of, uh, of scenes and temple walls that I've collected throughout my journeys into Egypt. And uh, I think what you're going to find is that we're really now today on, on the cusp of understanding ancient Egypt in a way that perhaps we never have before. We have some astounding technology that's come online. We have new ideas and inspirations, especially concerning the human light body and ascension that have really given us a, a really welcome window into the ancient Egyptian thinking about our ascension and transformation. If you are interested in perhaps getting information about any of our upcoming tours, you can visit my website, which is williamhenry.net. My email is whenrytn at earthlink.com. Dot net. That's whenrytn at earthlink.net. Drop me a line. I'll be happy to send you a copy of our brochure. So let's start from the kind of the beginning for me of when I started to really look into the ancient Egyptian light body teachings. My quest begins with this very obscure mathematician named Dr. Charles Musaeus or Charles Muses. He used a couple of pen names. Back in 1996, I, I happened to find myself in his former home in Denver, Colorado. It was called Falcon Wing. And it was, he built it basically as a temple to Isis. And back then, I, I didn't know who he was and had just begun my journey into looking into ancient Egypt. And I remember going to his home shortly after he had passed. And I had been given a couple copies of his books. And it was, uh, to, to my mind, a kind of an an unordinary or extraordinary circumstance that later had, in my opinion, profound influence on, on my life and my quest. Because as I started to look into the work of Dr. Musaeus or Dr. Muses, I found some tremendous inspiration. Dr. Muses proposed that the ancient Egyptians had developed a technology, his term, in which tones, lights, and an as yet unidentified plant are used to, trig to trigger, as he said, or open a rusty valve that triggered the production of large pulses of hormones, like exdiso, produced by, similar to that produced by larval forms of insects, which allows the adult form of the insect to emerge, or the, the metamorphoso, excuse me, metamorphosed form of the insect. In this way, he said, this would allow the gestation or mutation of a non-molecular body, a new skin that would allow the survival of consciousness beyond physical death. So we're talking tones, lights, and plants that could cause or stimulate this metamorphic transmutation of our body into light, into a light being form that our consciousness could then be deposited at our time of death and then we would continue on. This is a, a 5,000 year old science. And as those who are uh, pay attention to my blog, readers of my blog or participants of workshops know, I have established that 5,000 year timeline as a benchmark for human transcendence, this quest that humanity has to evolve beyond our larval form, our pupil phase, this human flesh and blood phase into our ascended light being phase. And as I discuss uh, quite regularly, in Silicon Valley, Beijing, other technology centers, software engineers, designers are trying to come up with a way of creating a new version of humanity using digital technology. I call it the skingularity. Their aim is exactly the same as what the ancient Egyptians had to create a, a new body of light into which we can copy and paste the contents of our brain, maybe even our soul, into a new body of light that will be able to continue on into eternity. 